In this specific video, you're going to learn how to install WordPress manually through FTP. Now, before we get started, there's several things that you're going to need. And number one, you're going to need to download WordPress. Number two, you're going to need your web hosting FTP username and password. And of course, you're going to need an FTP program. So I'm going to show you how to get an FTP program. I would actually recommend that you download a program called FileZilla. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. And if you go to FileZilla, click on Client Download. FileZilla is compatible with Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. And as you can see, just go ahead and download, install it, and open it up. And then, of course, the next thing you'll need is, of course, the WordPress files. So if you go to Google and type in WordPress download, and you click up at the top here, simply click Download WordPress 3.4, and just locate where it is installed and we'll go from there okay so this is the file right here what I want you to do is extract it or unzip it so we're gonna unzip it into a folder and then simply click on the folder until you see all of the files okay so these are the files that we want to upload to our website so the next step is to go to FileZilla, the FTP program, and this is the program that you see here. And what you need to do is at the top, using your FTP username and password, go to the host section here, type in FTP dot whatever your domain dot com dot net, whatever, and then enter your username and your password and what I like about FileZilla is that once you connect once it'll store a list of your history so if you want to connect to it later on you can actually do that okay so right now what I need to do is I need to go to the public underscore HTML. Now some of you will have a main folder called HTTP docs. And for some of you it might be different. So go to your main folder. And if you want to install WordPress on yourdomain.com, then you're going to copy all of these files to that main folder. However, if you want to install WordPress in a subdirectory, then you'll need to create that directory in the main folder. And in this case, I'm going to install WordPress in a subdirectory. So what I need to do is simply right click, click on create directory and create a directory. So let's say, for example, that I am creating a blog on t-shirts so I'm going to call this funny t-shirts 2 click on OK and I'm going to open this folder and what I want to do is simply highlight all of the files here simply drag with my mouse from here to here and as you can see it is uploading over 900 files. Now while this is uploading I'm going to go ahead and go over to my browser and I'm going to log in to my web hosting panel just so that I can create a database and a database username and password. So we need these three items in order to finalize the WordPress installation. So whether you're using cPanel, whether you're using Plesk, or any type of web hosting panel, the key here is to create a MySQL database and a username and password. 
So in this case, I am using cPanel. So what I need to do with cPanel is to scroll down and find where it says MySQL database wizard. So like I said earlier, if you're using Plesk or any other type of web hosting panel, you should see something that says create MySQL databases. And if you don't, you can always contact your web hosting company. If I click on this here and I enter, let's say funny t-shirts to click on next step, funny two will generate a password make sure that you save that password create user and make sure that you save this information and click on all privileges click on next step and there we go so the only thing we need to do now is to of course make note this is the database and I'm actually copying this over to a notepad as I am speaking here and the password so make sure you copy this this and the password once we're done with this we're almost done close this out and I'm gonna go back to FileZilla and I see that all the files have been uploaded. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to my computer where the files are located and locate the wp-config-sample.php file. What I need to do is rename this to wp-config.php rename that next right click and open this file using notepad and if you're using Macintosh just you open it up with notepad or something like that or some sort of text editor and what we want to do is we want to take the three pieces of information that we created earlier the database the database user and the password and replace this information here with what we just created okay so just now the database name we're going to replace this here between these quotes here single quotes put that here enter the username between these single quotes here and then enter the password between these single quotes here and then of course you exit click on save and then copy this new file here over to here now we're almost done the last thing you need to do is this simply go to your browser go to the website slash that subdirectory where the WordPress files are located enter your site title we're gonna call this funny t-shirts 2 enter your administrative password and username and password enter your email and what this means here is this privacy if this is checked it will allow search engines to index this site now what does that mean that means that once you've installed this WordPress site, this here, WordPress's system is going to notify Google that your site is up. Now, I don't recommend doing this simply because if you do this, then, and your site is not updated, it doesn't have content and stuff like that, Google's going to come to your site and say, hey, where's all the content? So what I'd rather do is uncheck this and once I'm ready and the content is there, then I'll go into WordPress settings and uncheck or check this. So we click on install WordPress and 
it's done. So let's go ahead and log in. And congratulations, by installing it manually, you have installed WordPress 3.4 version.